When John Kerry decided to pursue becoming the legal guardian of a poor orphaned girl from Somalia, he had no idea of the challenges he would face. The world would soon be shocked by the remarkable impact of this decision, a journey that would change not just his life, but also the life of a little girl. This is her story. John slammed the door behind him, his frustration palpable after yet another unsuccessful attempt to adopt Aliyah. His heart raced as he scrubbed his hand down his face, trying to clear his mind of the anger swirling within him. Why was this process so infuriatingly complicated? With fists clenched, he contemplated going back inside and confronting the officials once again. How could anyone be so rigid and unyielding when the future of a poor orphan girl hung in the balance? The adoption system felt archaic and convoluted. The endless bureaucracy he faced was overwhelming, filled with long, complicated steps that seemed unnecessary at best. When John had respectfully asked if there was any way to expedite the process, he was met with a dismissive smirk and an eye roll from the man in charge. It was as if the bureaucrats took pleasure in telling him that unless he meticulously completed every single requirement, there would be no chance of adopting Aliyah. John struggled to wrap his mind around why the process had to be so lengthy and frustrating. What exactly was the government trying to protect? Was it a matter of reputation or were they more concerned about red tape than the welfare of children? He couldn't help but wonder about the purpose of these regulations, but no answers came to mind. Only layers of red tape designed to discourage compassionate individuals from adopting children in need. Somalia was a nation filled with orphans and families living in abject poverty, and it baffled John that they would make the adoption process so unnecessarily difficult. What if he had taken Aliyah and simply flown away on a private jet? Would anyone have noticed? Or would they have turned a blind eye to the plight of a child in need? As John's frustration boiled over, he returned to his guide, Ula, who had been waiting outside. One look at John's furious strides told Ula that the meeting had not gone well. Ula understood the complexities of his country too well. Somalia was poor, yet its people were fiercely proud, and nothing ever came easy for outsiders, especially when money could be involved. Ule revealed the uncomfortable truth. The officials were essentially demanding a bribe, though they would never openly ask for one. John, being a foreigner, had not picked up on the subtle hints. The lengthy official process could take over a year, but with a simple bribe, things could be sped up to just six weeks. The very thought of having to resort to corruption made John's stomach churn. Despite his mounting frustration, John wasn't prepared to give up. Aaliyah, the barely two-year-old Somalian girl who had captured his heart, was residing in an orphanage that he had carefully chosen. He was paying a hefty sum for her care while he navigated the labyrinth of the adoption process. He had never imagined himself in such a situation, but for Aaliyah, he was ready to face any obstacle, no matter how daunting. John was known as an accomplished photographer, celebrated for his breathtaking travel photography. He had explored and captured the beauty of the pyramids in Egypt, the intricate caves in Mexico, and even the mysterious Bermuda Triangle. But despite his worldly success and experience, the adoption process had humbled him in ways he never expected. His journey to adopt Aliyah began with a heartbreaking tragedy. His life partner, Ra, had succumbed to an incurable autoimmune disease after a prolonged battle. They had traveled the world together, creating memories and envisioning a bright future. But when Ra fell ill, John's life took a dark turn. He poured every ounce of his resources into finding a cure for her, desperately hoping to save her life. In her final days, Ra had asked John to help fulfill her bucket list, a request that weighed heavily on him. But in the depths of his grief and denial, John had refused to let go, holding on to the hope that a cure would emerge. When Ra passed away, John was left utterly devastated. Sorting through her belongings became a painful reminder of their shared dreams and aspirations. Among her possessions, John found letters detailing Ra's final wishes, one of which was to donate a significant sum to Somalia, a country she had always longed to visit. This revelation sparked a sense of urgency within John, compelling him to honor her memory and fulfill her wishes. With a heavy heart, John traveled to Somalia, uncertain of what he would find. 
As he walked through the impoverished regions with Ule, he was struck by the stark reality of the situation. It was during one of these difficult moments that he first laid eyes on Alia, a tiny girl sitting on the ground, wearing tattered clothes and visibly malnourished, all alone. John's heart shattered at the sight of her, and when he offered her an energy bar, their connection was immediate and profound. Despite the vast differences in their backgrounds, they understood each other in that moment. As John learned more about Alia, he discovered that she had no family left. Her mother had likely perished or abandoned her, leaving the little girl to fend for herself in a world that seemed unforgiving. That night, John couldn't find rest. His thoughts revolved around Alia, and the idea of adopting her blossomed in his mind, becoming an obsession that he couldn't shake. However, the adoption process proved to be a nightmare, filled with corruption and endless requirements standing in his way. But John was resolute. He refused to back down. With Ula's guidance, he decided to take the bold step of visiting the district chief, armed with thoughtful gifts, including one of his prized photographs. To his immense relief, the chief took an interest in John's plight and made some calls on his behalf. Soon after, Aaliyah was legally declared his daughter. Upon returning to the United States, John transformed his entire life to accommodate his new role as Aaliyah's father. He hired a nanny, a tutor, and even a housekeeper to help care for her. But Aaliyah consistently preferred to stay close to him. They formed an unbreakable bond, and John, who had once been lost in the depths of his grief over Ra, found renewed purpose in life through his love for Aaliyah. As Alia grew, so did John's pride in her accomplishments and personality. He documented her life through photography, capturing her transformation from a malnourished, lonely child to a vibrant young woman full of dreams and aspirations. 20 years later, on her birthday, John planned a surprise for Alia, a special exhibit titled The Best of Me, showcasing the beautiful photos that depicted her remarkable journey through life. Alia, now a successful model and a budding fashion entrepreneur, had established her own foundation dedicated to supporting orphans. At just 22 years old, she was already making waves in the world by sponsoring the education of many underprivileged children. Her story could have ended in tragedy, but thanks to John's unwavering determination and love, she blossomed into an extraordinary individual who is making a difference. What do you think of Aliyah's inspiring story? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching.